guys, so when we think about, you know, the summer and heat and bees, it's easy to get worried, especially if you live in the southern United States, you know, where we routinely have daytime temperatures, 100 plus degrees, it's easy to worry about our bees. And that's somewhat appropriate. I mean, hot summers are really hard on bees, but it's not just the temperature that's the problem. Really, it's more the fact that there's not much blooming for our bees. So once the heat kills all the flowers, that's when I'm really way more concerned about my bees because they don't have much pollen or nectar coming in. The hives want to start shutting down and varroa mites peak in the summer. And so I'm really way more worried about varroa mites and supplemental feeding if necessary than I am the heat per se. It's what comes along with the heat that's a problem. But one interesting thing that I wanted to show you guys is, you know, this is a really strong hive, multiple boxes on top. You can see that you've got, you know, bees kind of bearding out the front. Over here on this side, you've got bees just fanning like crazy. Um, and this is a hive with a screen bottom board. So I'm actually gonna get behind the camera, which is actually where I am uh, way more comfortable. Um, but, you know, I don't usually get to be behind the camera as much these days. Uh, and we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at the front of this hive to see what's going on here. So if you look a little more closely, you can see the hive, the, the bees on the right are just fanning like crazy. We've got some excess bees hanging out on the front, not too many. Um, and those are usually just foragers that are trying to stay out of the hive so the hive can stay cooler. Um, and then of course, we've got lots of fanning going on, but it's not chaotic. You know, I don't worry about a hive overheating unless I, it starts getting frenzied and chaotic. Uh, and huge beards hanging out the front and that's when I'm more concerned but I want to show you guys something to see if I can let's see if I can get under here and we can see it but look at the underside of this hive through the screen bottom board um, let me see if I can get it to where you can see there's a lot of activity but not a lot of fanning I mean the bees are largely just fanning through the entrance of the hive um, they're not really fanning underneath the screen bottom board which is interesting, that shows, you know, they're really not stressed, they're not overheating, lots of bee activity, um, but, uh, you know, the fanning is pretty much just happening at the front of the hive, so I thought that was an interesting view. So, like I mentioned, you know, really this time of year, I'm way more worried about treating for varroa mites, making sure varroa mites are not an issue, making sure my hives have, you know, multiple boxes on top of them, and that they have the food that they need, uh, I'm way more worried about that than I am just the heat.